You cannot fight poverty without creating wealth. You can't create wealth without a, a cheap source of energy to power economies. UNIDO Director General Kande Yumkela's focus for 2009, energy at the heart of all development and sustainable energy at the heart of the future. In a year of climate threats to progress in poor countries, UNIDO drew record numbers to energy conferences around the world. In Vienna, Manila, and Leon, Mexico, government, business, and academic leaders, NGO, and scientific experts shared ideas on guiding the world to a green economy before it's too late and called urgently for a new world energy order. Because going green is a necessity. The future for an integrated energy agenda lies, for me, in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Unless we're sustainable, the world has no future. Unless we use green industry, there will be no growth. It's about the challenge of moving from research and development through demonstration to large-scale application at a pace of development we have not yet experienced except under wartime conditions. Particularly important is to accept the reality that we need a major revolution in the energy sector. Out of the Philippine capital came the Manila Declaration, experts and decision makers getting behind a plan of action to promote green growth in Asia. Business and environment are not contradictory. Environment makes good business, and business can make good environment. A talking point for the Copenhagen Conference on Climate Change, industry seen not as a villain, but as part of the solution. We believe that we can save the planet while at the same time enhancing prosperity for mankind. That's our central message in the conference. And Asia is not waiting for somebody else to take action. Because we are in the takeoff stage, we have a unique opportunity in our country to get it right from day one to introduce new industries that are clean and profitable. The Chinese will outpace everyone in wind within the next year or two. The Chinese are also looking at a variety of other renewable technologies, and this is just good business. It's a big mistake for us to think that technology is the one that's going to solve all this. It has to be a combination of measures, policies, systems, uh, technology, financing. We all have to do something now. How can governments help? Incentives and stable policies to encourage business to go green. Financial help from rich countries to poor. Facilities for sharing knowledge. And the political courage to make carbon less popular. A carbon price and a carbon tax, which could be the revenues from which can be used for supporting R&D in renewables, supporting special incentive packets for financing uh, 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 renewable energy projects will be critical. If we don't have a good price on carbon, it's going to be tough. In Mexico, looking beyond research to getting green technology out of the lab and into the streets, fields, factories, and kitchens. On display, making diesel from seeds, gas from algae, spinning electricity out of the air. And over in this corner, business people already meeting and cutting deals. Mexico's most famous financier declared it's a good time to invest in renewables. Es que en virtud de la gran y difícil situación económica y financiera en los países desarrollados que se tiene, resulta que hay abundancia de dinero a largo plazo, a baja tasa de interés, como no ha habido, cuando menos en mi vida ya larga profesional, a positive note from the Mexican president. De mi padre que si hay dos brechas que ponen en peligro la existencia de la humanidad, son la brecha entre el norte y el sur, es decir, entre ricos y pobres, sea en países y sea en sociedades, y la otra es la brecha entre el hombre y la naturaleza. La buena noticia, amigas y amigos, es que esas brechas pueden cerrarse. The rich-poor gap is high on UNIDO's agenda. Climate change continues to punish the poorest of the poor, the so-called bottom billion. How do we ensure 
that these poor people who have contributed the least to climate change, that they have access to energy for their own development and growth. Chosen this year to lead UNIDO for another term, Director General Yumkela has not forgotten his roots in a poor village in Sierra Leone. But I know that if we don't fix energy access, my village will never, the children in my village will never ever enjoy prosperity. The conferences have done their job, but Dr. Yumkela says it's time to move on. 2010, I don't want to have another conference. 2010, I want you and us to begin to design the programs, to design the solutions that we take to communities. 2010 should be for action.